We acknowledge that the town of Arlington is located on the ancestral lands of the Massachusetts tribe, the tribe of indigenous peoples from whom the colony, province, and commonwealth have taken their names. We pay our respect to the ancestral bloodline of the Massachusetts tribe and their descendants who still inhabit historic Massachusetts territories today. Land acknowledgement is not new. It's a traditional custom dating back centuries for many native communities and nations. For non-indigenous communities, land acknowledgement is a powerful way of showing respect and honoring the indigenous peoples of the land on which we work and live. Acknowledgement is a simple way of resisting the erasure of indigenous histories and working towards honoring and inviting the truth. The land acknowledgement you just heard was authored by Ferris Gray, Sagamore of the Massachusetts tribe. As such, it bears legitimacy and the support of the people it acknowledges. Land acknowledgements are particularly relevant to local governments whose jurisdiction is directly tied to local land boundaries. Adding this practice to our town government's various proceedings helps us celebrate and recognize the heritage of the peoples indigenous to Massachusetts and Arlington. The purpose of this article is to ask town meeting to support the reading of land acknowledgements at the beginning of public meetings. It is an encouragement, not a mandate. Each body can and should decide when and how often to voice this acknowledgement, but we recommend that it be regular, not ad hoc. Thank you. I mean, I would love for, for people to have a greater understanding um, of the indigenous population here uh, and what our ancestors went through uh, and what we go through, what our children have to go through here um, being indigenous and um, how we've been discriminated against, um, how this trauma that, that's been passed down through generations. I, I just don't think people have a, a good understanding of this, this, what I call a generational trauma that's passed down through the generations, how, it, how assimilation has affected us. Um, so I really wish that people could have a greater understanding uh, of the indig indigenous population that has been stripped of everything that they had, uh, they stripped of their very being, stripped of their connection to the earth. Um, and and, and what, what that means to us today and um, a lot of people think we're just angry um, for something that happened so long ago. That happened a long time ago. Why are you so angry? Because it, it, it continues to happen every single day it happens. Um, we are still fighting um, for the earth, which is insane that we have to fight for the earth, that people don't realize the importance of all the creatures. Uh, we are still fighting for our language to maintain our languages. We are still fighting to, to maintain our spirituality uh, that has been stripped from us. These things don't uh, come easy. We are trying to decolonize ourselves, um, not because we hate our colonizers, because we want to remember who we were. And Those ancestral territories, um, the land and the water and everything that lives there are places where we have relationships. And we believe that our lives depend upon those relationships and our spirituality is based upon those relationships as well. So while we don't own the land, we are the caretakers of the land and we continue to be the caretakers of the land.